What's going on everybody? Time for another filament video. Fix Dry came up with more filament. Yes, I've already used these. I'm going to show you some cool time lapses in a minute. And then we're going to jump over to this table that's off camera and check out all of the amazing prints. We've got golden black dual color. And then we've got a black, blue, purple. Kind of like the color, the bruise color. Anyway, a tricolor. So check out these time lapses. Everything was printed today on the X1 Carbon. This film was sent out to me free of charge to try out and review. All opinions are my own, as you know. They always are. And, uh, yeah, hope you like what you see. Like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. And then we'll go to their website. We'll check out their website and the film. There's a discount code. I have an affiliate link, which will be down below in the description. Then on the screen here in a little bit, we'll check out their website, see what new colors they have in. And I'll put the discount code on the screen. I don't remember how much it was, 5 or 10 percent, I don't remember how much discount code was, it was, but there is one, and here we go. And here we are, two spools of filament. I had a few screw ups, and you know, uh, you know, I missized a few things. And, but I'm going to show you a close up here on a turntable of all these prints. But it printed perfectly fine. The cardboard spools and my X1 carbon with AMS work fine. I do not print car the rings for the spools. They seem to rotate fine. When the spools get really light. I have a doohickey I put in the middle that's got desiccant that helps to weigh down the spool so it doesn't hop in the AMS unit. And that seemed to work out perfectly fine. But on the small Statue of Liberty here, um, I'll, I'll tell you where I got this from here in a minute on everything. But I had a problem. I was using tree supports and the tree supports actually bonded to the model. I couldn't remove them and then I broke off the Statue of Liberty's hand and the torque at the top. So then I went into NetFab. I took the model in that fab, I cut at the bottom of the base, and I printed it separately. That way I was able to print this out much taller. Because, you know, X1 carbon is only so big, the little printer, and that's about as much as you get for height. So once I cut it and I resized it up to like 155%, it came out very nice. And I've got a lot of cool stuff here I want to show you. Uh, yeah, I have very little filament left on both. And the only thing I had to reprint is I have a pumpkin here, which I'll give you a close-up on here in a minute. And I had reduced the size of the bottom of the pumpkin. And then when I went to print the lid, I made a mistake. And I printed that at 100%. So I have some wasted film in here. And then it's the little Statue of Liberty, of course. But I've got a clock spring, a photo cement. I've got a bunch of different make, great makers here. And some of this NASA fabric that came out really cool. So let's give you a close-up and show you all this. And then i got the filament dryer right here for dual filament from Fixed Drive. They have a few different models and they came out with more filament, dual and triple tricolor. So they contacted me and said, hey, you want to try out some more filament? Do another video? Okay, cool, I did, and here I am. It's a silk filament. It's very pretty. Let's show you guys some close-ups and see what you think, and then we'll check out the website. And yes, there's a discount code. I have a link down below. I don't know if it's an affiliate link. I don't really remember, but if there is a discount code you can use. If I remember the code, I'll put it here on the screen or it will be down below in the description where it says show more under the video where you can go to their website, buy the filament, and you can get a discount on their products. But yeah, let's check out these close-ups. Okay, here we have the Statue of Liberty. This is off of printables and the designer's name is called the Kraken. And I believe I did this at 155%. I dropped the model in that pad and I cut the Statue of Liberty herself off her base and I printed them separately on the X1 Carbon and it came out beautiful and that is in the black 
blue and purple filament. Came out amazing. And like I said, I showed you the other one which I done in the, the same color and the supports, the tree supports that bonded to the model and didn't really work out so it's some wasted film. But this came out beautiful. Very happy with the results. And this is a silk filament by Fix Dry and it came out with more colors. Very beautiful. Let's move on to the pumpkin here. And this is a pumpkin model that I had seen over on Twitter, or X as they call it now. And it's done by Chris, I think it's Bobo or Babo. It's a pumpkin candy bowl. You can find this over on Thangs. And I sized it down. It's a little bit too big. I mean, I could have printed this on maximum carbon 100%, but I wanted to save on filament. And then I glued the little stem on the top. Got a lid that comes out and then has a ring that sits in there. And I did use supports under this. Although the first one, when I oversized it, I didn't use supports. And I had a lot of stringing damage. The bottom of this bowl does have a little bit of stringing in it and a small hole in the model. But it came out really good. Came out amazing. And then let's move on to the Articulated Dragon. Now the Articulated Dragon I had printed a really long time ago and I gave them away to my grandson and I gave away a few but it came out really good. I sized this up slightly. I don't remember like 125%. Looks like I have a little bit of damage on that one foot there. A little stringing. But that came out very nice. Came out very good. Very happy with it. And let's see who was that by. I'm looking here at my paper. Or right, blah blah blah. Mick G Y B E E R. Mick Bear. Mick Guy Bear. It's over in my mini factory. That's where this wild came from for the articulated dragon that I had purchased that on quite some time back, maybe a year ago. So I found the file on my hard drive and reprinted it. And let's move on to this. When I had some fixed dry film in a while back, as you've seen, I had printed that. Then I had some failed prints. And it's very super heavy duty. It's got a top and bottom 5% infill. fill. Looks really nice. And that's called a fidget skull by Clock Spring, and you can find that over in my mini factory if you wish to purchase it. And that is in the gold and the black filament. Came out beautiful. Originally when I tried to print this in another video, I tried to, I thought it was like a bowl. And I didn't have any in-fin fill in it, and I didn't have any top layers, and then each one of these ribs are independent. The only thing holding it together is the top, bottom layer, and the end fill. They're all separate, and it started moving around. And if you remember, I had a failed print. But this one came out in a beautiful, amazing, very, very nice. Very pretty to look at. And I did size that up. I don't remember what it was anymore, but it has been sized up a little. I don't remember if it was 125 or 150%, but it came out very nice. Very solid. Very heavy. Beautiful print. And let's move on to the space here. And this is called a Octo Octahex Ripple Vase. Came off of printables. And the designer's name is Chris the Viola Nerd. Chris the Viola Nerd. Octohex Ripple off of printables. And this is in the gold and the black. Very nice design. Very nice. Came out beautiful. Very pretty. Now let's move on to the NASA fabric. Found this online. Um, NASA fabric is off of printables. The designer's name is Adam Tamimi. T-A-M-I-M-I. -I, Tamimi. Printed really nice. Very pretty. And that's the gold and black. 
I guess that could be incorporated into uh, cosplay armor, um, uh, mat for a plate, uh, cup saucer. There's like a million things you could probably use that for. Very pretty. Very pretty to look at. And then well, the next will be the Chinese Dragon by Fotis Mint. This is my favorite out of everything that I've done here today, other than Statue of Liberty. This Chinese Dragon by Fotis Mint is done in the golden black dual color filament from Fix Dry, and that is a beautiful model. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah, Fotis Mint does some great designs, great work. So pretty to look at. I mean, that doesn't need to be primed and painted. It's perfect being in multicolor. Very nice. Consider doing it in resin. I figured, yeah, you know what? I got the film it coming to review. I'll just uh, print it out and film it. And on the X Men Carbon, as you seen in the video, it came out great. And then for the leftover filament, I have very little left over on the spools here. A little this, a little that. So I'll probably use that up on something. The only thing I don't like, fix dry, you need to label what filament is on what spool. I know it's a little more work and making more labels. But you should at least have make up a separate sticker, put it on here so people don't have to look at it and try to figure out. They can quickly glance at it to see what filament they're grabbing instead of having to look at the end of it and try to get some glasses on the flashlight and see what color it is. Just simply put a little sticker on here that reminds people what colors they are. So that would be a nice touch in my opinion. So very cool. Let's jump over to the website guys. Let's see what they got and then we'll wrap up the video. And here we are at FixDryOfficial.com, their official website, where they have their filament dryers and their dual color and tri-color filament. And also, there will be links down below where you can buy film, this filament on Amazon, or their filament dryer on Amazon. And there's a dryer I reviewed. And then they got their different tri -co different colored filament here, as you can see on the screen. But I'm not going to stretch out this video and show you every single page. But if you're interested, there's a discount code below in the description and the affiliate link on Amazon. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm trying to grow my channel. And with awesome people like you, it makes all that possible. So until next time, everybody, happy printing. Later.